Shut up and sit down. Hello folks, Colin here, Fester 67's workshop and welcome to Build the Batmobile from the classic 1966 TV series of Batman from our wonderful folks over at Van Home. Now, if you'd like to build this along with me, head over to this link here that's also in the description below. And you too can be building this one eighth scale Batmobile with me. Let's have a quick scoop through the magazine. Here we've got Burgess Meredith as Penguin again. Not yet, he ain't, it says there. Season 1, episode 22. He's in uh, pursuit of the Birdmobile there. There's the back cycle. A bit more about Gotham City there, the broken city. Some more artwork there from the comics. The creature from Planet X, yes, folks. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Give these a read, folks. They honestly are really worth it. I certainly think they are. This is the part we're interested in there. This is phase 22. You'll install the parts of the steering to your model as well as fitting your first wheel. So have yourself the wheel that we had from issue one. Have that to one side because we're going to be putting all of this together today folks okay so there's the list of parts we'll lay them all out shortly we're going to be putting all of this together okay so bear that in mind it's nice and clear and simple to do and we'll go through this nice and gently and you'll see all that you've got to do there and at the very end there we're going to have a wheel assembly on our Batmobile okay so that's what we want to be doing by the end of this issue. Let's quickly flip through the back there. Lay this across the back of the bench there. And we'll grab our part. Right, folks. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got this centre section. Okay. And then we're going to be attaching the parts to it. Okay. So we want 22E. And these are labelled up right and left, by the way. So that's right. And by powers of deduction, that'll be the left one. Which it is. Okay. So bear that in mind. So we want the right hand one. We want to feed that in there. And then we want to come up with a UM screw. Okay. That is our, our resistance fit. But I reckon with a little bit of oil in there. <clears throat> We can just have that flowing a little bit better or moving a little bit better. So I'm going to put a bit of oil on all of my joints on this just to free it up. And we want a UM screw. So let's get the screwdriver of screwing this out. These are the UM screws we want. We might as well have both of them now over this side. A little bit of oil on it. Because it is going in die cast. And then we'll lay that right on my knuckle and we'll send that in to its home and send that home like that. Okay. And that moves nice and freely. Okay. Can go a little bit tighter. Like so. That's going nowhere. Okay. So that's what you want. And do the same the other side there. Feed that one in, like so. It's actually a bit looser, that one, so that doesn't need any oil in that joint. Put that on the end of the screwdriver, a little bit of oil on the screw, because we are going into the die cast. And then we'll do the same as what we just did there. Just rest that on the edge of my thumb. And then we can send that home. And I tend to cut the turns, back it off, cut the turns, back it off. Just in case you need to recut the thread. There you go. And that's in place. And that's what you'll have. Nice wobbly suspension. Okay. Keep it orientated the right way as well. Ready. So we want right hand by our right hand now. Left hand, obviously, by our left. And then we want 22B and 22C. 
and again these are handed so we got the right one there and the left one there and these will be joined with AM screws okay which are these ones here with the little washer on the end that's actually wrong on there it should be AIM okay that corrects itself just there to bear that in mind so we've got a little bit of oil on the end of that press that down fade that through there like so and then send that screw straight in there like that now i'll grab it now with my hand give that a bit of persuasion because we are cutting a new thread there there you go and that's what we want i want it to be a bit stiff like so because like i say it'll rub the paint off but we do the same there aim screw just pick that one back up cut a little bit of oil And then we'll do the same on there. Right, and then we can now screw that fully home. That side went in a hell of a lot easier. There we go. So that's what we've got now. Looking rather splendid already, isn't it, folks? So we're going to be laying this in the Batmobile so we need to bring in the engine and chassis section that we've been working on so we want to kind of orientate it like so. so I'm trying to do it where I don't compress them wires if I can help it but we'll see what happens I'll try to turn it that way there you go, that should work. And then we can lay this across then. So that will go on there. That will then come around there. That will go up there. And then that will have another one that comes right the way down through that frame at a later stage. Cool. Right, let's get our AIM screws oiled up. And we'll put them in place. So let's grab that one. Bit of oil on there. And feed that into there. And then we'll do the same that side. So we can spin the engine assembly round lay it that way and then we'll do the same with this screw there like that move that out of the way That's that in place, and then spin around that way. And we want a CM screw going there, and that's the CM screw there. Okay, and that will hold that arm in place. We can now then put our hand underneath and screw down on there. Again, I'm going to bite it and then back off because we want that to still move like so. Okay. All right, we can deftly try and manoeuvre this out of the way now for a moment and focus on putting this wheel and hub assembly together. 
So we bring in our tyre. I've put the back cap over there out of the way. Spin the wheel round so you can see the inside. And you've got two little screw holes just there. And we want them because we're going in with 22G, which is this bit. Okay. I double check your destructions to make sure you're using the right bit, which I am. That's F, because that's got the brake diagram on. And we want this orientated like so, and that will sit on there like that. Two AM screws, which are these ones. So let's bring them down there. A little bit of oil. Just be on the safe side, cup. Press that on me knuckle and screw that in like that. Pop. Same again with that one. All the way. Like that. Spin it around that way so I can rest it on my farm. And then screw that into the back of the wheel. Just like that. And that should then be a rattle-free fit then. Like that. Okay. So it will look like that from that side. That's what we're after. It's then asking us to put the tube in. Like so. So let's bring that through. And that goes on that little peg there. So I'm going to glue. A little bit of glue on there, I think, because... There's a little bit of scale model glue, bit of Tamiya white cap glue going on there. Just so that when I push that tube on, it actually bonds to it. Because I don't want that flying off when we've assembled the car. It is a resistance fit and it should stay. But I had a couple of the HT leads pop off and I, I don't fancy having to keep going through and doing that so this is now going to go on the axle okay so it says push it onto the steering spindle and it's going on the left hand side because you've got an L okay so it's going to go that way with the tube going through like so now it'll only go on one way you've got a large hole and a small hole okay so let's bring in our assembly Move me oil just out of the way there. I can lose them few bags now. But as we don't need those, just rest them out of the way. And then we can bring this in. Like that. Okay. And we're going on this spindle here, left hand side. So that's what we're going to be doing now. Orientate that the correct way. And then that will go on. The spindle like that and then just press it into place and it will bite into place okay and then that will give you your tube your tube's going to come through here so just let that find its way through like so you can use your tweezers to pull it through if you need to which is what i'm going to do from that side i'm just going to let the tube do its thing and lay around inside there out of the way for now there you go like that, so sling that up there. I want it to poke up through there, don't I? Like that, just let it sit out of the way. There you go. And then we can fit our wheel with an FM screw. You've got a spacer as well, and it's crucial because that will bite into the hub cap when the hub cap goes on. Okay. So I put the washer through now. We're going to go in die cast. So I'm going to just have to shove that on the screwdriver. Put a bit of oil on you. Like that. Okay. And then slot that over there. And then we can line the wheel up now. Start putting that in place. So I'm just going to do it from there where I can see it. And then we can screw that in place. Like so. Okay. It's so cool to see the wheel going on though, isn't it, eh? 
don't want it to go and be freewheeling too much. That'll do me. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then press fit the cap into place around the spacer. And it's the spacer that holds that in situ. Okay. And you want it with the back logo facing like so. Okay. But I shall remove my caps for safekeeping and put them on when I go to display the model. All right. But it's something like so. Okay. There. Lovely jubbly. But that's what you're going to end up with, folks, at the end of this issue. So remember, don't forget, if you want to grab one of these yourself, head over to the website. Follow that link there. Beep. Also in the description below. Also, don't forget to click that Fester just down there. That'll help me grow my channel. Really is appreciated if you could subscribe. Also ring the bell and that will let you know of any upcoming future content, folks. Until then, stay safe and well. Bye-bye, folks.